This video will go over the types of reliability and a de definition of each one. First, a quick overview of reliability. Reliability is the consistency of a measurement or the ability to get the same result under similar or identical conditions. So another word for reliability is consistency. The three types of reliability are inter-rater reliability, internal consistency, and stability. The first of these is inter-rater reliability, which means that there is reliability or consistency between the people scoring the test. So two people scoring the same test would score it the same way and give them the same results. This is achieved by training the scores the same way at the same time and implementing standardized scoring procedures so that each person scoring the test scores it the same way each time. The second type of reliability is internal consistency. This is reliability across test items within a test itself. And there are three ways of determining internal consistency for a specific test. The first is split half, so comparing one half of a test to another half of the test. You can compare the first half of the test to the second half, or you can compare even items to odd items on the test. You can also compare alternate forms of the test to determine internal consistency to see whether form A or form B or whatever other form there is have similar questions that test the same things in the same order in the same amount. The third and most effective option is coefficient alpha. Coefficient alpha is where you compare every single test item to every other test item on the test to determine consistency within the test. And the final type of reliability is stability, which is reliability or consistency over time. This is determined by a test retest procedure to compare results of the first administration of a test to a later administration of the test. An example of forms of tests that have high stability are IQ tests. They are expected to have results that stay fairly similar over multiple administrations of a test. There are some factors that can impact the stability or the bias of a test. The first is what's called the practice effect which occurs when a child is tested multiple times within a short interval, producing higher scores because the child has had time to practice and become more familiar with the test. The other kind of bias or impacting factor is what's called the maturation effect. This takes place over longer periods of time when the child increases in skill or ability simply due to natural development and maturation, so just their own growth over time. And those are the three types of reliability. If you need another review, watch this video or talk to a tutor or a classmate.